What's up guys? Welcome back to yet another trail building one-on-one -on -one video. In this video, we're going to be giving one quick tip, one easy way that you can fix puddles on your trail. If you clicked on this video for other drainage issues, please go check out the trail building one-on-one -on -one playlist. We cover a couple more things in there. But if your problem is that you have puddles forming on your trail, this is the video for you. So let's go right into this. Man, the sun is in and out, in and out. Okay guys, so you know those puddles that form on the trail and you may be riding through them like me, but maybe you're like Jamie and you ride around them either because you don't want to get dirty or because you think it's better for the trail. Puddles on the trail or mud pits are bad. They're not good and you want to remove them. There's a whole list of things that they do to your trail that's not good and I'm not going to be covering all of those in this video. But in this video, we're going to be talking about specifically how you can fix it. Before we give the tip, I just want to let you guys know that this does not apply for every single puddle out there. If the downhill side of the trail is actually higher than with the puddles at, this is not going to work. The only way this works is by giving the water somewhere to go in the downhill direction. If it's a berm, guys, definitely consider learning about what's called grade reversals because that will stop the water before it even gets to the berm, keeping your berms in better shape. And I hope the illustrations help explain this because if I'm gonna try and explain this with words, it's not gonna work. Assuming that the puddle is formed in a location that this tip is actually gonna work for, you wanna construct something called a nick. You can picture a nick like constructing a bowl in your trail, except it's only half a bowl. It's basically taking a chunk out of your trail and that chunk is outsloped. So all the water, instead of sitting on a flat piece of trail, runs into it and then off. I hope the illustrations are helping you guys because me explaining it verbally definitely isn't. Generally, the nick should be about three meters long. I like to think about like two to three bike lengths. The point is that if you make the nick bigger and smoother and it's a lot more subtle, then the riders will notice it and that's a great experience for them. Assuming that the downhill side is actually lower than your tread, this will work and it is the easiest way to get rid of water forming on your trail. I hope this tutorial taught you something. If you want to learn more about trail building, we have an entire trail building one on playlist. Definitely be sure to check that out after this. But first, we have some shout outs to do. Okay, so Jamie fell seven times. Only three people guessed and only one person got it correct. And that person is the young MTB. Thank you for commenting on that video. The comments help the videos perform better on YouTube, guys, and I really appreciate every single comment. Speaking of which, there's one guy who guessed, you didn't guess the correct amount of times, but you commented so much on this channel, I figured I might as well give it to you. Pure Cliffs or Oliver Masri or Masri. <laughs> Go check out his videos, guys, because he's literally like me a couple years ago, making chill building videos, having fun on his bike. 